Hey, what's up guys? Well, we went ahead and uh, boondocked over here at Walmart. And we're just a little bit, uh, little bit north of Huntsville and uh, we had a pretty decent night last night. It's nice and cool. In about a 40s, probably about 45 was the low. And uh, the Oliver did awesome, guys. Uh, we were very comfortable. Uh, we have a couple sleeping bags that we have uh, in the Ollie here. And uh, there she is. The Ollie got her all cleaned up, got her all nice and ready to go on out there and get her serviced. Even got the pickup truck nice and uh, shiny looking, waxed up, but waiting on Jean to get back. She's in uh, Walmart right now picking up some water and uh, a few little other snacks and things. Uh, as far as solar power, we got down to about 12.4 volts last night and uh, it's 9.30 in the morning and I'm already back up at 13, 13, uh, 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 13 amps is where 13 volts or whatever. But uh, anyway, we're going to be pushing out of here in a little bit. And we'll be heading off to uh, Merriweather where we'll boondock again. Uh, then we'll get up bright and early and push into uh, the uh, plant to get her service. There's Emmy. Okay, my honey's coming back. She's got some water. She's coming back, guys. There she is. Pretty quiet. We had a few semis uh, that were parked uh, right over there last night. Uh, but they didn't bother us at all, even though they had their reefer vans going. Well, as far as uh, sparkling water goes, they didn't have any. No water. So, so we got the old two-galloners yeah, right there. Okay, it. guys, so last night uh, when we rolled in here, uh, we got down to about 12.4 volts. That's running all the lights, the TV. And also the furnace was kicked down and we kept the inverter on. And everything was charging. Everything the phone, was charging, the, the phone, everything. Uh, we're bringing in currently 13.2 volts, 11.1 uh, amps, and so far we've brought in 19.7 amp hours. Uh, so we are pretty uh, satisfied with the uh, solar system with the Oliver. So we spent the night at uh, Walmart and we're leaving Walmart right now, as you can see. <laughs> we're going to get some gas and we're driving to Owenwald, rather a merry weather, uh, close to Owenwald to uh, spend the night there so we can be at uh, the Oliver plant bright and early tomorrow morning. And we're heading for merry weather. I don't know if I recorded before, I'm not sure I pushed the button right. Anyway, I had spinach in my teeth. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> literally. <laughs> so, I went to the bathroom and um, I was washing my hands looking and I saw it. So, I got rid of it. <laughs> So here we go, very weather part. Here we come. All right, we're here. We're almost here at Meriwether uh, Camping Ground, Campground. Uh, no, uh, State. Is it a State Park? Oh, no, what is it? Anyway, Meriwether Park, whatever park <laughs> in Tennessee. Almost there, guys. It's a beautiful, sunshiny day of fall but there are no really no fall colors to speak of uh, it's a little disappointing a little early yeah. and it might not be a great year for fall colors for all we know i don't know Ooh, 
windshield is pretty dirty. It's been a long trip, so bear with us. Called Mary Lewis. Mary Weather. Lewis Natchez Trace Parkway. It's very pretty. Okay, this is the circle, but it I'll seems right to be here. pretty crowded. Let's see if we find something else. There's one spot right here. Oh wait, here's a pull through. Number one. Yeah, but now uh, you can always come around again. Let's go see what's. It's pretty crowded. Maybe we shouldn't have talked about it in the video. <laughs> <laughs> it surely didn't used to be this crowded. <laughs> The secret's I mean. out. <laughs> Emma. Be a good little girl. <laughs> oh, I have the fire ring. <laughs> Emma. <laughs> Dang, everybody's here. And their sister. Yeah. What are you doing? Six. There's one here. But it's very close. No, no, I want to go away from everything. Hell, this is almost like a damn campsite over out in Colorado. Yeah. That's where we stayed at before. That's our spot. This was our spot. Well, there's more here, George. Right there, I pulled through. Is it level? Uh, it's not really level, is it? No, uh, really. And it's right by the exit. I say let's go back to the first okay. site. I'll back in. There's more over there. You know. That was not a bad, a bad pull through, though. Well, it wasn't level, though. That's the problem. I'm afraid those are all taken too. There's one right there, but there's that tent. No, line. no. Let's go back to the beginning. Oh, wait a minute, what's this? This is a pull through. You want to do this? You can. Because we're leaving. Oh. But we're kind of like in the middle, but there's a water sticker. Look at that. You want me to go to the first site? Away from everybody? Yeah. Let's do that. Alright, I'm gonna need to back in, baby, so. Turn left onto Campground Road. But I don't know if there was a uh, fire ring. Yeah, there is. Feet, turn left. Am I gonna be able to back in there, babe? Okay, guys. We just pulled down the stabilizers and the Anderson, and now we're we're gonna have to unhitch because we're a little too high. We are here with the front. Yeah, the front the back a little bit off.
But it's a beautiful sight. It's a little fuller than we expected, but at least we found the spot. That's pretty good. It's a great day. There's our Emma. Hi, Emma. Emma loves it. <laughs> She's marking everything, <laughs> every spot. <laughs> the only thing with this uh, setup we got here, guys, is it's a little pain in the butt to get this guy on and off and stuff. That's the anger sound. It's a shame that we got it on hitch. Yeah. Unfortunately, it couldn't be helped. Nope. It's okay. No biggie, right, babe? Yeah. All I'm going to do is just pull up a little bit. One foot. Yeah. Tell me when it's clear. Yeah, okay. So, for this particular site, we got the, the ball right here. And you can see we had to come down in order to get it leveled out. So. Tomorrow morning we got to get up early, so we'll be doing this in the dark probably, and uh, getting over there to hold. You could have placed mold. it better. That's oh, okay. It's fine. It's fine. So uh, anyway, take a look at the Anderson. Did you show them the Anderson? Yeah. We're pretty, pretty we love there, the right? Anderson uh, levelers. We love those. Yeah, they're awesome. There, we're up there, but. Uh, we're good to go. This is our site. Look, we got fire pit, fire picnic pit. table. Got even a trash can. Trash can, and it's free. Yeah, free site. Free site, yeah. A little bit of trash in there. Cool. Emma likes it. Do you, Emma? Do you like it? Do you like it, baby? <laughs> uh. It didn't quite go the way we wanted it to, in the sense that we have no connection. <laughs> we have no internet. We have Verizon, and we have uh, the booster, but uh, it just uh, says that it cannot find the server. Can you guys tell me why it says that? I don't understand. It says uh, it, it, we were having four bars, and it said four bars light. Is that what it said? LTE. LTE, yeah, light. Uh, four bars, and when I, uh, whenever we try to connect uh, to the internet, it said cannot find server. But anyway, here's so, what we got. So we don't have any internet connection, but we have a fire. <laughs> The old handy axe came in handy, guys. <laughs> hey guys, we're just uh, we just dropped off our Oliver here at the plant, and uh, it's early in the morning, and we're not gonna get all the stuff that we actually thought we were gonna get. Uh, and I'm very disappointed to say that one of the things that we're not gonna be able to get is the. TV moved, which I really wanted to get the TV moved to the center because with the 2018 models, the TV will no longer uh, be fixed on the side, uh, uh, on the back side of the trailer. It will be in the middle in the back and it will flip up. And so I wanted to have it moved because I keep hitting it with my head or my feet, whichever side I sleep on. And uh, unfortunately, it's a, it's a move that costs too much money. It's about between $800 and $1,000 just to move that. That's a little too steep for us because they're gonna have to close the holes that are there right now. If they move it, they have to close the holes and closing the holes is gonna cost quite a bit. So we're here at the offices, Oliver offices. 
We came to see the cushions. They're right there, the green ones. Hey guys. So, another update. Uh, the cushions that we were gonna swap are not... Um, there was a misunderstanding in communication probably and um, basically they only have uh, the ones for the dinette for us. They, they, re they had them remade only for the dinette so they didn't make the ones that go around the bed to make one of the two ends uh, as a couch. So we have one of two choices. Um, have the other ones made again matching the ones that we're picking up for the dinette or we just uh, forget about that traffic or we just forget altogether about those cushions and we just keep the beds as two beds, two twins we no extra cushions and we simply have the ones for the dinette swapped so we're a little disappointed for that that was kind of a bummer that we thought we were coming here to pick up everything and they're not made. <laughs> so only half of the cushions, we cannot switch the position of the TV. And um, yeah, everything is a little bit of a bummer. We're just... There's a little bit of growing pains going on here, guys. And, um, there's the a little plant, bit. There's yeah. a little bit of uh, things happening behind the scenes. A little bit of uh, disorganization. Yeah. And uh, also, we came with the idea that uh, they were going to work on the trailer during the day today, and we were gonna pick it up tonight, and it was gonna be done. But surprise, surprise! We were told that we might have to stay another day because it might take two days so we would have to hang around here for the night and uh, we're not tremendously excited about that. 